Hi, we're the Chained of Hooligans. You're listening to Holly on Dry Stone Radio. Hello, hello, you're here with Holly on Dry Stone Radio. We've got plenty coming up in the next two hours, including Comedy Kiosk, Time Warp and Plenty Fortunes. We're going to start the show off with a bit of Oasis and Supersonic. That was Blue and Green there by Miles Davis. Happy birthday to him, born on this day in 1926. Just been looking at his Wikipedia page, and what always interests me is having a look at who they've influenced. And he has a really random list of people that he's influenced, including Tangerine Dream, Steely Dan, Frank Zappa, Pink Floyd, Neil Young, Radiohead, Talk Talk, and Sting. <laughs> Dusty Springfield there with I Just Don't Know What To Do With Myself, bringing our time warp of 1964 to an end. We will have another time warp next week with a different year, of course. Now, if you just don't know what to do with yourself this weekend on Sunday the 16th, head down to the White Lion in Kildwick between 4 and 8. The roaming jumpsters are going to be there. It's going to be folk, roots, contemporary, country, blues, and a sing-along session. And if you want to check out their website, it's www.myspace.com. Jumpsters. So that's this Sunday between 4 and 8 at the White Lion in Kildwick. Now, on with the tunes. I'm going to crush the jukebox for the last 20 minutes of the show. And we're going to go on with a bit of Alice DJ, Better Off Alone. Johnny Rivers there with that beautiful, fresh-sounding electric guitar. Now, there was a very secret special agent dog in 66... The World Cup trophy went missing on the 20th of March in 1966, which was very worrying as we were hosting the World Cup in that year. Uh, It was stolen from its exhibition and later found by a dog in his walker. The dog was called Pickles. That, of course, means it's time for this week's movie quiz. And this week's movie is from 2004 and it's an American thriller. And here is your first clue from the soundtrack. And as I've said, this director in particular has a very distinctive soundtrack kind of style. Uh, the movie quiz is going to get very easy now as I'm going to start giving you some really like obvious clues. Uh, the film is noted for its stylish direction by Quentin Tarantino with his homages to genres such as Hong Kong martial art films, spaghetti westerns and girls with guns. It's also starring Ulma Thurman, Lucy Liu, Michael Madsen and Daryl Hannah. If you don't know it yet, and this it, that was just the biggest giveaway ever, here is a section from the film kill bill well, there you have it. That was the answer for this week's movie quiz, Kill Bill Volume 2, though. If you said Volume 1, you would have been incorrect. And this is the final so- song from the soundtrack. This is About Her by Malcolm McLaren. The Great Moon Hoax is a series of six articles that was published in the New York Sun beginning the 25th of August, and it was supposed to be the discovery of life and even civilization on the moon. Discoveries were falsely attributed by Sir John Herschel, perhaps the best-known astronomer of his time. The article describes fantastical animals on the moon, including bison, goats, unicorns, biped, tailless beavers, and bat wing- bat-like winged humanoids. And, well, I suppose it was the you know 1800s, so people believed it. That is Van Morrison there with Moon Dance. Uh, so on this day in 1835, the New York Sun perpetrates the Great Moon Hoax. It was terminated with the destruction of the telescope that allegedly sighted all these unicorns and fantastical creatures on the moon. Getting one single hair in your mouth and it just remaining there forever, no matter how much you persist in it. Like, you're like, oh, can I get, like, and it's such an effort locating it because you like, and it's, well, for me, I've got long hair. So when I get hair in my mouth and it's probably mine, I spend ages, I just think, how have I not found it yet? And it's like, make such a fuss. And if you're with someone, because you're there, like, you've obviously got like a, like a horrified look on your face. It's like, are you okay? You've got like, oh, I got an ambulance. That was Prodigy with Take Me to the Hospital as my beer, my bonnet this week is one single hair getting in your mouth and not coming out any time soon. That's horrible, isn't it? And it's even worse when you, like, as you take a bite of a sandwich or something and you realise there's a hair in there and you can feel it slip. Ooh, it's horrible. Sorry, horrible thought, horrible thought. We'll forget about it now. We were just discussing also during the song about biscuit issues. Yeah, when you're a presenter, a broadcaster, don't eat biscuits. No, it can go horribly wrong. Yeah, you get a crumb down your throat <laughs> and it will not, it will not disappear there's, and you end up sort of... 
Well, choking on air, <laughs> it's not good for the listener. So there's no going back once the crumbs No, no, down. you've got to eat, you've got to drink tea. You've got to I've drink just tea. brought some custard creams in so all the presenters can eat them, so I'm going to test them see if they're going to choke on And air. I can see the cups ready as well in case of an emergency. <laughs> yes, there. Yeah, swallowing. <laughs> Thank you for listening and toodles. This is Tusk by Fleetwood Mac. I'm obsessed with this song at the moment. Obsessed. <laughs>